Are you someone that loves watching old TV series? Or is it something that only people over a certain age do? Lately, I've found myself going back to my old DVD box sets of favourites from years gone by. There are box sets of TV series that I re-watch often. And so if you do the same, I know where you're coming from. In this video, I'm going to share some of the thinking as to why we do it. In 2011, Crystal Russell, Professor of Marketing at the Graziadio Business School at the Pepperdine University, and Sidney Levy, a marketing researcher, conducted a survey as to why people revisited familiar media. Their survey encompassed music, books, and TV. At the end of this video, I'll share their conclusions. I'm gonna talk about TV for this example. They discovered that nostalgia wasn't the only reason that people went back to their old favorites. People said they went back to something because it was familiar and comfortable to them. They found that people didn't always remember everything about the programs, but they recalled how much they liked them when they first saw them. And revisiting it was like rediscovering an old favorite. Some said it was a reflective experience. For example, they recalled that they were 20 the first time they saw it, and now they were 40 with two kids and they'd see the program in a completely different light from when they first saw it. Also, many of the people surveyed said that they returned to TV programs because although they could watch new programs, they wanted to go back and watch something again because they knew they were going to like it. It's a bit like going to a restaurant and looking at the menu with all its different choices and choosing the meal you know that you're going to enjoy. We all have a tendency to do that. During the pandemic, I bought box sets of loads of old TV series that I used to love. And when we were stuck at home, we pretty much only watched them. Rewatching those old series can be enlightening too, because I can remember thinking how much the world has changed and what was acceptable back then isn't now. Recently, I've started to go back and start looking for series from the past that I didn't see the first time around, either for the reason that it just passed me by or that at the time it wasn't of any interest to me. I've just finished watching The Duchess of Duke Street, a series my parents watched back in the mid 70s that they loved, but didn't interest me at all. After all, how would a program set in the turn of the last century about a woman running a hotel be of any interest to me as a 16 year old? My wife had wanted to see it, so we settled down to it, and I can't say I was looking forward to it one little bit. But do you know what? By the end of the first episode, I was hooked. It was entertaining, I liked the stories, and I liked the main characters. And I enjoyed going back in time. It was like a window to the past. With the changes in how we can view programs today, let me ask you a question. Do you binge watch TV series now that you can? Once upon a time, we had to wait a week for the next episode, but now we can plow on through to the end. I can remember doing that with The Sopranos, with Dexter, and with Breaking Bad. But for the most part, we tend to watch a couple of episodes at most in one sitting. We may, however, watch a couple of episodes nightly until we've finished the series. For me, I tend to pay more attention to an old series than I do to a new one, particularly if I really enjoyed the series. In this day and age, it's all too easy to watch the telly with a phone in one hand and glancing from one to the other. I find myself doing that often if I'm watching a new series that I'm not really that invested in. I don't do it half so much with an old series that I enjoyed the first time around. Also, I find that when I see a series for the second or third time, I see other things in it that I didn't see on that first viewing. I love The West Wing, and I watch it at least once every 18 months, and I still manage to see something new in it that I haven't noticed before. The conclusion from the survey was that we revisit our favorite books, music, and TV just for nostalgia to look back. It's more about familiarity and feeling comfortable with something you know than to go in with something that you may not like as much. I have to say, in my case, that's pretty much on the button, especially in these times of uncertainty with what's happening in the world around us. It's more about familiarity 
and feeling comfortable with something you know than to go in with something you may not like as much. I have to say in my case, that's pretty much on the button, especially in these times of uncertainty with what's happening in the world around us. And it's probably why I always end up ordering the same meal when I go to the Chinese or an Indian. And if you'd like to click up there, I'll talk about why I mostly watch old TV shows and movies.